it to Malibu and which is this this is a 2010 Chevrolet Malibu LS four door four cylinder okay it has like 169,000 kilometers on it okay so what we have here we have a problem this customer a friend of mine he brought this vehicle to me and he said hey i tried all i could and i couldn't figure out what's going on and uh, can you just you know take a look i'm like yeah sure that's what we do we 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 take a second uh, <laughs> second look and and see what's happening so let me show you what's going on okay turn key on <sighs> first of all my lights are dim in there there we go okay it's telling me service esp electronic steering electronic uh, steering control I, I guess that's what it is so <clears throat> And I uh, hook up my uh, Zeus here. Anyways, I'll try to check for fault code. And what we got in there, we have two two cords in there. Okay, we have a big fat EVAP in there, a vent solenoid control. I'm gonna let him deal with that, but what we are concerning about is that P. Uh, not P, idiot. U0073. I'm a big dummy sometimes, you know. Now see, the code says no fault code. <laughs> Codes disappear magically. Now what's what's going on here? Now if you look at the gauges, do you see the gauges are playing some sort of a party there? They'll come on, they'll go down, they'll go up, they'll go down and then we say low fuel which is not true then the brake sign show up and you know low washer fluid is normal but and then he's saying a uh, service esp and all the gauge down and all gauge up by themselves all the time so every time he's trying to drive his vehicle all of a sudden that happens <laughs> And uh, ABS light comes on and all those lights. Now, when I look, I haven't yet looked uh, anything. Oh, codes came back. What we got here? Ah, so it's saying transmission control module TCM re requested M M uh, money light. Oh, no more fault. Let's see what's go going on. Oh, all gauge down. So something is playing around with the uh, can communication that's what i believe is going on yeah gauges are going up going down now we have communication now we can see codes and when they go down we'll hear the beep maybe they're gonna go down maybe Maybe not. And go down. Come on. Come on. Go down. Go down so that we don't see any faults. <sighs> okay. So I decided to stay still so i hook up my breakout bar here try to diagnose this fault if we have any good can so let's go to the uh, scope here and see what we got for can action come on come on okay now, that looks like some f goofy thing is going on. Oh, that's a good can. No. Nope. 
see our voltages here it's reading on can high we have a 2.65 can low we have a 247 but look at the pattern he looks good sometimes and then it looks really really terrible yeah but it's mirroring like if you see the the lower one it kind of goofy oh that's good no that's not good so um what we're gonna do here we're gonna look at this code criteria and see if it, we have any any path to tr troubleshoot this code oh now we have issues there look how goofy that can communication is eh good bad good bad good bad good bad good bad <laughs> yeah so what do you figure what's the problem is here well i'll tell you one thing here so gauges all gauges down and that can doesn't look really he looks okay and bad okay and bad <laughs> anyways without wasting time so let's see keys on if you turn signal that's a good indication i have a a burnt bulb that's normal as you can see i can see my light the light shining there light shining there but in the back the right side is dead left side is good that's not my problem anyway so what i want to do here is i want to check I want to check what's going on with this fault code. Um, if you can go to the uh, scan again. So every time you have gauges down, no fault code, no problems. Okay. Um, now I'm going to see if we can talk to which module can talk here. When they are done like that, uh, do the a quick scan. I hope they're not gonna come back. Still down. That's a good sign. Okay, so what we got here? Can bus error. Perfect. What's communication with it? ECM PCM? Mm -hmm. Every module's down. Instrument panel is the only one okay. Radio is okay. All the tire. So we got a problem in this module. We lost communication with the steering control system. Uh, we lost communication with the EBCM, but that's a history code. But this one is a current. This is history, history, current. Communication with ECM, PCM, vehicle communication module also, and then this is current. So we have a problem with the CAN communication uh, system. Okay, so let's diagnose this together. Okay, um, so what's the plan? See the gauge start now flicking again. <laughs> what is the plan now this is this is where things get a little bit uh, complicated because at a time you can you can you know the scope is the best way to go you have you need a lab scope for this or you might not don't get me wrong if you're a genius i'm not um you can look at this uh we can you can look at this waveform and then you can what you can do you can start unplugging the uh, module each by one at a time 
until you you get your can communication restored and that way you'll find who is actually pulling this can communication uh, down because as you can see here uh, something is is messing up the can communication but the voltage still not that bad it's not like shorted high or something uh, some just one module is not is 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 not right is is doing is pulling the can communication um down or i could say down maybe yeah because it's not it's not shorted otherwise we could see this uh can uh can signal spiking from probably even 10 volt or 12 volts something like that uh, this is not the case we still have in a little range because we should have uh, i believe is 1.5 if i'm not mistaken and then uh, three point something because double the other one um i didn't read my book yet <laughs> that's what i'm guessing but one is it has a little bit more voltage than the other one that's the rule of thumb so right now what we are reading it's not in spec i would say because we have we have uh, um well this one says 3.5 and 4.6 it could be in that range it's, it's not that bad but the life we are reading here it's a little bit pretty much close to each other but uh, I guess every time they talk every time there is a message sent the voltage changes that's what I know anyways I don't know much about can communication stuff but uh, yeah let's diagnose this and see what's what's pulling it down so we're gonna start by uh, Disconnecting things and see if those gauges come back to life. <laughs> oh, I love this. Let's do it. Maybe. What? Put window down before you close yourself out. <laughs> Learn from previous mistake. I tell you that much. All right, should we one hand, should we pull each module, each module at a time, but where should you start? Hmm. How about we start with the transmission control module, is uh, TCM. Um, the easy way is the ABS. We can start with this ABS. Let's disconnect this ABS and see if we begin. If the can can be better. Is it good? Cage still down, folks, so that's not the problem. So let's connect that back on. That's not a problem. Okay. Uh, something here you don't know okay let's see ECM is 16 ABS where is TCM that's a good thing about GM they they really write everything transmission is number four so what is number four number four is here okay let's get number four one two let me see two things turn up number four is turn up let's take this off 
Aquí es check. No. Oh, gauge is up. But our communication, let me bring the let me bring this closer. I uh, still not We still have an issue, I believe, because that can doesn't look really right. So let's put that back on. The best way is just to go to the to the module and disconnect but this. The way I'm doing it here is not the perfect way. Maybe it is, but not sure. Um, what else here? PCM ten fuse. PCM ten fuse forty two. Forty two right there. Let's see what we get. No. So this is what I found. I got everything working the way it's supposed to work. Um, it took me a really a while to figure out this thing. What was going on is, I'll show you here. What was going on is that blue connector to this module here, I believe that's a Transmission control module. Hang on, first. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here we go. Try to make some lights here. Okay, what I found is this blue connector here. Focus. That blue connector. That blue connector probably either it wasn't plugged in properly or something was wrong. I removed it. It was very hard to remove, even though even though I unlatch the uh, the uh, lock here. But I'm gonna show you what's going on. What, what happened? I'm glad I'm able to reproduce this. So let's see here. Bring this over here. Okay, I can adjust my voltage here so that we can see better. Adjust voltage, put this one on 5 volt, this one also on 5 volt. Okay, then bring these, uh, my trigger, bring it here bring this down down to each other okay oops right there everybody happy everybody happy can communication looks fantastic right very well now watch this this is how it was before okay we come here I'm gonna just <sighs> wiggle this just a little bit like this 
and then put this back. Let's see. Well, I didn't get it quite well. Hold on. Just like. in there just like that damn it it's still good Okay, now that is how things were going nut and as you can see my dash, everything come on and then the power steering problems comes up and all kind of shit, low fuel because my gauge won't even move at all, this gauge they're gonna stay down and then if you turn off, turn on, you know, still the same, even though they check, nope. So, so that is what was going on. Power steering, and then if we check the fault code was, uh, and then low fuel, the fault code was uh, cross communication with the power steering and all kind of stuff. And this is how my can was showing. Um, First I thought like, man, kind of good, but a little bit out. Yeah. So that was a hard one. That was very hard to figure out. And uh, I really don't know how we, somebody were here, cause I can see this look new, somebody mess up with these wires I mean this tape looks brand new and um, yeah somebody's been working here and uh, this thing was not plugged in properly they left it like that and then when I came here try to unplug things and plug back that's how I found it out it's supposed to be in like that and all the way that looks normal now first I thought the mojo is no good but the mojo is it's okay so as soon as this module was losing the power from this connector, it was giving a lot of issues. Right now we plug it in properly and then we are back to a good can, good looking can. And of course the light's still on and all kind of stuff. Only one still on, so let's do this. And now all my gauges are working and all the light goes away so security light still there maybe after we start it then you'll you'll be happy i don't know why it's still on Security light still on. However, the vehicle started. Can communication shows good? Maybe, maybe. Off, key off for a second. You see, this module gonna go to bed. There we go. No communication, yeah. So let's see again if he 
We got this this time. Yeah. So we got it. Alright, so the lights off, gauges on, can communication looks beautiful. Yeah. That was a headache. We still need lights though. Lights out, so running lights are out. And yeah. Thanks for watching and I hope to get another video soon. And uh, everybody have a good weekend or good day over there. See you next time.